Welcome back. So in this video, let us discuss about the various sulci and gyri which are present on the inferior surface of the cerebral hemisphere. So this inferior surface is again divisible into a orbital surface anteriorly and a tentorial surface posteriorly. So the orbital surface is in relation to the orbit and tentorial surface is in relation to the tentorium. So uh, we divide it into orbital surface and the tentorial surface. So what are all the uh, major uh, sulci which are present in the orbital surface? So initially medial most we see one olfactory sulcus. So in the frontal lobe we see one olfactory sulcus and uh, later to that olfactory sulcus we see one head shaped orbital sulcus in the orbital part. So the part of the cerebral hemisphere which is located medial to this olfactory sulcus it is referred to as gyrus recti because it is a straight shaped gyrus we are naming it as gyrus recti and the remaining part is called as the orbital gyrus and by the presence of this head shaped orbital sulcus it is divisible into anterior orbital, posterior orbital, medial orbital and lateral orbital gyrus. And uh, this olfactory sulcus, it will lodge the olfactory tract. So you see here, this is the place where the olfactory tract will be present. And then they will divide into medial and lateral and intermediate olfactory stria, finally terminating into the olfactory cortex. So this uh, olfactory sulcus is so named because it is lodging the olfactory tract. So that is about the orbital surface of the inferior surface. Next coming to the tentorial part of the inferior surface. So this is the tentorial part of the inferior surface which is formed by the temporal lobe and the occipital lobe. So let us now discuss about the uh, tentorial surface of the inferior surface. So the tentorial part of the inferior surface, uh, it has got a hook like uh, extension which is called as uncus. So this is the uncus. So this is made up of the temporal lobe and uh, occipital lobe. So the major sulci and gyri which are seen in this tentorial part are anteriorly near the uncus you see a rhinal sulcus, a small sulcus which is called as rhinal sulcus. So posteriorly uh, this extension of this rhinal sulcus it is called as the collateral sulcus. So other sulcus which you see which divides the remaining part of the tentorial surface is occipitotemporal sulcus. The other sulci which you see in this inferior surface are postcalcarine sulcus. So this is the postcalcarine sulcus, the extension of the calcarine sulcus and the lunate sulcus, the beginning of the lunate sulcus. So these are all the sulci which are seen on the tentorial surface. So what are the gyri in relation to this sulci? So uh, the part of the uh, inferior surface which is present medial to this collateral sulcus it is referred to as parahippocampal gyrus. So this part is called as the parahippocampal gyrus. And the part which is medial to the rhinal sulcus in relation to the uncus it is referred to as the primary olfactory area. So this part is the area number 28 which forms the primary olfactory area. And then in between the collateral sulcus and the occipitotemporal sulcus you have got the medial occipitotemporal gyrus. So this one forms the medial occipitotemporal gyrus and lateral to this occipitotemporal sulcus you have got the lateral occipitotemporal gyrus. So these are the major sulci and gyri which are present on the inferior surface of the cerebrum.